Hello everybody and welcome to Northwest Association for Blind Athletes workout videos. My name is Mary and today we will be doing a core workout. I'm really glad that you're here. Before we get started, I just want to go over a few safety tips and a few things you'll need for the workout today. First things first is you're going to need some water. So go ahead, grab a glass of water, grab your water bottle, whatever you need, just to stay hydrated throughout our workout today. If you can, grab your yoga mat. If you need to put a blanket down uh, or maybe do the exercises on carpet, just make sure you have enough room underneath you that's maybe about the length of your body because we're gonna be laying out and doing a few of these exercises today and stretching out and getting that work in today. And other things that you should be aware of, just make sure you're adapting the workouts if you need to. So if you need to make an exercise maybe a little harder, make it a little more challenging or maybe lighten the exercise to what we're doing, that's totally okay. We want you to listen to your body and listen to how your body's feeling and responding to the workouts and then adjust for your own needs. So just a little brief, uh, brief about what we are going to be doing today. We have four different circuits that we're going to be going through. Each circuit will have three exercises. We will talk about the exercises first and just talk about how to do them, more tips to do them more efficiently and ways to keep your body safe while you're doing them. And then we will do the exercises for 20 seconds, 10 second rest, 20 seconds of doing the exercise, 10 second rest, 20 seconds, 10 second rest. Uh, we will do that three times for each cycle. So that totals to 12 different core exercises we're going to be working today. Um, just another reminder too, some of these exercises may work your back or they may um, work other areas of your body. That's totally okay. Um, if you Maybe if you're feeling it a little bit tomorrow, you're like, I didn't do a back exercise. Why is, why is my back hurt? Uh, that might be why. So we are going to go right into our warm up. We'll also start with a warm up and then do the four circuits and then finish with a cool down. All right, so for our first um, warm up exercise, right now I'm sitting on the ground because we'll be doing all of our exercises from the ground today. Um, but if you wanna stand, you can do that. Um, if you want to sit on the ground, wherever you feel comfortable starting, um, I'm gonna do these from sitting. So we're gonna do a high reach. So reach your fingertips towards the ceiling and lift up. If you want to take a nice deep breath in and then release and bring your arms to your side. We're gonna do that one more time. Go ahead, lift your arms straight up towards the ceiling, and then reach even more. And then if you want, you can take a deep breath in, and then as you breathe out, arms come down to your side. It's always nice to stretch out your back, especially if your shoulders are always hunched over, or if, if throughout the day you may not worry about your posture like me. So it's always nice to give your back a nice break and a nice stretch like that. Next, we're gonna do some trunk twists. So I'm still sitting on the ground. Um, if you still wanna do these standing, you're welcome to as well. Uh, we are just going to bend our arms at about a 90 degree angle. So just bend your arms so that your hands are in front of your chest or your stomach. And then we're just gonna to twist to the left and then twist to the right. So when you twist side to side, your nose is going to go with your body. So it's like you're turning your Bring your head down to your waist to the side. You, If you're standing, you wanna make sure you're not twisting from your ankles so it's not your whole body twisting. It's really just your core and your back that's getting warmed up, moving around, getting those muscles activated. All right. And then the next exercise we're going to do is going to be a side bend. Do this in sitting, do this in standing, whatever you prefer. Um, I'm sitting, so I'm gonna put my hand on the ground. Pick, pick a hand, whatever hand you want. Um, put a hand on the ground. Other hand comes up, fingers pointed towards the ceiling, arm is right by your head, and lean towards the side that your hand is on the ground. So my left hand is on the ground, I'm leaning to the left and then come back up to a seated or an upright position, and then repeat on the other side. Opposite hand on the ground, opposite hand pointed towards the ceiling, and lean to the side that's hand is on the ground. And as you get comfortable with this, go a little faster. So lean, sit up, lean, 
sit up. Lean and sit up. Lean and sit up. All right, our last exercise for our warm up is just gonna be a little cobra exercise. So if you could go down to your stomach, okay? So we're laying on our stomach, hands flat on the ground. Hands can be at about chest level. Just push yourself up, have a light bend in your arms. You're not doing a push up, you're just pushing yourself up off the ground and then lower back down to the ground. Do this one more time, we'll do it two more times. You should feel a nice stretch in your core or your tummy muscles. Make sure you're keeping your head, go ahead and go back down and then up. Make sure you're keeping your nose pointed forward. All right, and then back down. Okay, so that is our warm up for today. We are going to get right into our first circuit. So we're just doing a bunch of core exercises today. Um, it's gonna be a good exercise, good, good next hour of our time together. So we're gonna start with our first circuit in a forearm plank. After that, we'll do bird dogs. And then after that, we'll do our shoulder taps. So for our forearm plank, you're going to face the ground, lay down and face the ground. Put your forearms on the ground. Your elbows should be directly under your shoulder. And then your legs should be back behind you. Go up onto your toes and then push your body up off of the ground. Your hands can clasp, your hands can be, your palms can be on the ground. You don't need to point your nose towards the wall in front of you. You can just keep your nose pointed towards the ground to again, help with that neutral neck alignment. And you wanna make sure your bottom isn't sticking up in the ground like a downward dog. That's not really what we're doing. You wanna make sure there's a pretty straight line from your shoulders to your heels. So that's our forearm plank. We're just gonna hold that for 20 seconds. Uh, that's what's called an isometric, isometric exercise where you're holding a muscle and the length of the muscle isn't changing. With isometric exercises, it can be really easy to hold your breath and not breathe. So with all of our exercises, but with isometric exercises especially, make sure you're continuing to breathe in and out and in and out. With some other exercises that we do, you like if you are doing some kind of squat or a lunge or something, it's easy to get into the habit of going down and breathe in, going up, breathe out. Um, so with exercises like planks, it's a little harder to uh, remember to breathe. So I'll give you tons of cues, but just please continue to breathe while you're doing that exercise. Our next exercise is called a bird dog. So get into tabletop position. If you are not familiar with tabletop position uh, in yoga or in like a Pilates class, your hands are flat on the ground. Again, hands are right underneath your shoulders. You're, it's called tabletop because your back is going to be pretty flat like a table. If somebody put a tray on your back and it had glasses on it, the glasses would fall. And then your knees are going to be on the ground directly under your hips. So we're just looking like a nice sturdy table here. All right, and then your shins are on the ground as well. To do a bird dog, you're going to just pick an arm and then take the opposite leg and you're going to move those at the same time to create a straight line from the tips of your fingers to the to your toes. So you're just from that tabletop position, lifting your arm and lifting your legs so that you're making a straight line with your body. I lifted my right leg and left leg. You could lift your left arm, left leg to start. But to do this exercise, it's not gonna be like our forearm plank. We'll lift up, hold, and lower. Lift up, hold, and lower. Again, always working with those opposite, opposite arm, opposite leg. A few tips for this exercise. If you feel like you're off balance, widen the, widen the area that is in between your knees. So you may need to spread your knees apart a little bit more. And that's gonna give you a lot more balance as you go through these exercises. Just make sure you're really engaging your core or tightening your stomach muscles when you're doing that exercise. 
And then our final exercise is going to be shoulder taps. So you're welcome to do this from a modified position or from this regular position that we'll be doing this from. Uh, but you're going to go into a forearm plank or a uh, forearm plank would be the modified. No, I'm sorry. Going from your knees would be modified. Going from your toes would be the standard position. But I'm gonna do it for modified first. So my knees are on the ground. My hands are flat on the ground. And uh, my wrists are directly underneath my shoulders. I'm going to lift one hand off of the ground. So right hand up, taps left shoulder, right hand back to the ground. Left hand, tap right shoulder, back to the ground. And then you just repeat, shoulder tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap. It's the same exercise if you do that from your toes. So with that, you just wanna make sure that there's a straight line from again, your shoulders to your heels. Just tap, 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 tap. Again, with that exercise, if you feel like you're off balance, widen your feet or spread your feet apart more. And again, make sure you're really engaging your core muscles with that. It'll be easy to kind of engage the muscles of your back with that exercise. This exercise is not an exercise that will be working our back muscles as well. As well. So if you feel a tension or a pull in your back, try to go back down to the ground, reset and go back into the position that you're in and then do the exercise from there. That is our first circuit. Uh, again, 20 seconds of exercise, 10 seconds of rest, three times through um, doing all of those exercises. So we'll do these exercises a total of nine times per exercise. I'm going to get my timer started. All right. And we're gonna get started whenever I press start, it'll give us a beep, 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 and then it'll say exercise, and we will get on with it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. We're in our forearm plank here. Go ahead, get on your forearms, on your toes, elbows directly under your shoulders. We're already halfway there. Keep breathing again, in and out. Three, two, one, and take a rest. All right, you can lay on your stomach for your rest, sit upright, but we're gonna go into our bird dogs in the tabletop position here. All right, here we go. We're in tabletop, lifting arm and opposite leg, lower. Lift arm and opposite leg, and lower. Lift, you can even hold, squeeze your core, and lower. We're gonna switch here. Yes. All right, and take a break. Next are our shoulder taps. Shake out your arms if you need. Three, two, one, Exercise. and here we go. Either doing this from your knees or from your hands. Tap your shoulder, opposite hand, hand to opposite shoulder. We're more than halfway there, keep it up. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, first set done, great job. We're gonna go right back into our forearm planks here. Three, two, one, and here we go. If you need, you can, again, widen your feet, but just remember we're taking some nice deep breaths in and out while we're in this position. All righty. Three, two, one, and rest. Make sure you're not resting too soon. Uh, I know it's easy whenever you hear us say three to so switch. All right. Exercise. Bird dogs. In that tabletop position, lift arm and opposite leg, hold and lower. This is also a really great exercise for your balance too. All right, three, two, one, yes. and take a break. All right, shoulder taps are up next. Shake your arms out if you need and get ready. Three, two, one, exercise. All right, here we go. It's okay if you have a little bit of sway in your body here, that's kind of expected. Sway meaning moving your shoulders or your body maybe moving back and forth. 
Just make sure it's not too, too excessive. Try to tighten your core to stop that sway. One, and rest. All right, two out of three done. Great job, everybody. We have one more time through all those exercises. Three, two, one. All right, forearm plank last time. Whew. All right, again, we don't want our butts in the air. Kind of keep your pelvis tucked here. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Three, two, one, and rest. Bird dog are up next. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, opposite arm and opposite leg. Extend, hold, and put back down to the ground. Great work, we're almost done with our bird dogs. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, last exercise, our shoulder taps. Shake your arms out, get ready. Three, two, one, exercise. All right. Here are our shoulder taps. Again, some sway, moving back and forth. It's okay here, but try to minimize it as much as possible. Oops, two, one. Yes. All right, take a break. That was our first circuit done. We have three more to go, but go ahead and grab some water. Try to sit upright if you can. Uh, you can, if you happen to find yourself just collapsing on the floor, it's okay. All right. My dog Stella is sitting up and is excited for us to do the rest of our workout. All right. She also likes to give her commentary here and there, so if you hear her yawning or grunting, that's just her way of saying hello to everybody. All right, so if you still need a little bit of a break, you're gonna get it. I'm going to go through the next exercises in our second of four circuits. So the next exercise we're gonna be doing are called cherry pickers. They are also referred to as twists, uh, whatever you wanna call them, welcome to. So for our cherry picker exercise, you can do this a number of ways. You can, we're gonna start by sitting on your bottom. Um, so you're sitting, you can, if you need to, I think the most basic way to do this exercise is to sit on your bottom, feet flat on the floor, knees are bent um, at a pretty comfortable position, okay? Uh, with your knees bent, if you want, you can just sit straight up and you're just going to tap the ground on the left, tap the ground on the right, tap the ground on the left, tap the ground on the right. To make it a little more challenging, lean back a little bit more, tap left, tap right, tap left, tap right. To make it a little more challenging, pick your feet up off the ground so you're kind of in that uh, high boat position, tap the left, tap the right, tap the left, tap the right, tapping the ground on each side. From there, if you would like to bump it up a little more, you can use a weight. So if you're holding a weight, tap the weight on the ground on the left side and right side, back and forth, back and forth. So those are our cherry pickers. Next exercise is our butterfly sit up. So if you're familiar with the butterfly or Bhattakonasana stretch or exercise from yoga, um, your feet are going to be, you're gonna be sitting again. Feet are going to bottom your feet facing each other. Knees pointed out to the left and right. Uh, with this exercise, you don't need to have your the sides of your legs close to the ground or touching the ground. That's not really the focus of the exercise. The focus is going to be the sit-up component to it. So you're just going to lay back. Again, feet are uh, bottoms of your feet are touching. Start with your hands up above your head. So fingers are pointing to the wall behind you. And you can think of it as your um, arms right by your ears. You're going to sit up, touch your feet, arms above your head, lay back down, 
and then you're at your starting position. So the whole time you do the exercise, your arms are going to be above your head. So I'm gonna sit up, arms above my head, arms above my head. Touch your, I'm sitting up all the way. Touch your feet and then go back down into your sit up. So arms above my head, going back down and arms touch the ground. With this exercise, it's okay if your feet kind of come off the ground whenever you do the sit up and the, you sit up and you go back to your laying down position. Uh, the biggest part of this exercise is controlling what your body's doing. So you don't want to just flop your body all over the place. Uh, make sure it's a nice and controlled exercise and movement sitting up and sitting back. Final exercise is called dead bug. So with dead bug, we're gonna make kind of a reverse tabletop position here. So I am laying down. So with this exercise, you're gonna start in laying down. Um, you're, you're going to pick your legs up so that your shins are facing the ceiling. So right now I have about a 90 degree angle bend in my hips, 90 degree angle bend in my knees. My toes are pointing, your toes can point whatever direction it's like, I guess. Um, but you know, the back of your lower legs are parallel with the ground. The top of your legs, or the front of your legs are parallel with the ceiling. And then your hands are going to be straight up in front of you. So fingertips pointing towards the ceiling, okay? All right, from here, it's gonna be kind of like the opposite of a bird dog. So one arm goes down, the opposite leg also goes down, touch the ground, and then return to start. Switch sides, one arm goes down, opposite leg goes down, return to start. And then you're just going to repeat that exercise. So one arm and one leg is going to go down, return to start, and switch. So those are three exercises. Uh, cherry pickers, butterfly sit up, and dead bug. With all of those exercises, again, make sure you're breathing throughout. Make sure you're keeping your core nice and tight. And you'll get a pretty good workout with that. Alrighty. So, let me get back to my timer, sorry. Okay. We are going to get started here. If you need a little sip of water before we get started, go ahead. I'm gonna press go on our timer. Three, two, one. All right, cherry pickers are first. Doing this in whatever way is comfortable for you. Sitting on your bottom, touching the ground on the left and the right side. Left, right, left, right. Keep it up. Three, two, one, and break. All right. First 20 seconds are down, butterfly sit-ups are next. If you wanna join me, two, one, exercise. All right, legs are in the butterfly position, arms above your head, sit up, touch your feet, and sit back down, nice and slow and controlled. Sit up, touch your feet, sit back down, lay down, I guess. That's what we can say. Oh, three, two, one, yes. and take a break. All right, last exercise is our dead bug. Three, two, one. Exercise. All right, hands pointed towards the ceiling, legs in tabletop, arm and opposite leg down and up. Touch the ground and come back up. All right, keep going, keep breathing here. Three, two, one, rest. and rest. All right, first set down. Whew, hope you're feeling good. Three, two, one. All right, here we go for our cherry pickers. Just touching the ground on the left and the right. Left, right, left, and right. Keep it up, five seconds here. Two, one, yes. and go ahead and lay down for our butterfly stretch or butterfly sit-ups. Two, one, exercise. All right, we're in butterfly, arms are above your head. Sit up, touch your feet, and sit back down. Sit up, 
touch your feet and sit back down. Looks like Stella's joining us for a couple reps here. Three, two, one, and take a break. All right, dead bug exercises next. So go ahead and lay down, legs in tabletop. Two, one, exercise. All right, again, legs in tabletop, arms above your, whoops, arms pointed towards the ceiling. Lower one leg, opposite arm, and repeat on the opposite side. Keep breathing, almost done here. Three, two, one, yes. All right, great job. Go ahead and rest. You didn't hear the timer. In our last set of our second circuit, three, two, one, exercise. Cherry pickers are up next. Touching the ground on the left and right, left and right. Feet can be flat on the ground, feet can be floating, whatever you prefer. Three, two, one, yes. Whew. and take a break. Great job. Indoor butterfly sit ups next. Three, two, one, exercise. Here we go. Sit up, touch your feet, go back down. Last time for butterfly exercises. Make them count. Nice and controlled movements here. Nice breathing. Three, two, one, yes. and rest. I timed that well, I was able to end right on the ground. All right, three, two, one, exercise. dead bug. Here we go, this is our dead bug exercise. Last time we're doing our dead bug. Arm and leg touches the ground and back to tabletop. Keep breathing, two, one, yes. and rest. Great job. At the end of our second circuit, go ahead and maybe you're twisting from side to side. Twist and hold maybe, whatever feels good. Grab some water. All right. I'm just gonna grab another sip of water and we'll get into the rest of our exercises. Okay. So we have two circuits down, two circuits to go. We are halfway through the workout. If you're someone that likes to keep tabs of what exercise we're doing and kind of where we're, when we're gonna be done, how much we've done um, so far. So now we're going to go into our third set, or our third circuit of exercises. Uh, the next three exercises we'll be doing are a single leg V up, a high, high boat and low boat, and then we'll be doing a curl up. So for our single leg V up, you can, all right, single leg V up, start by laying on the ground. We're not gonna stay here for long so don't get too comfortable. Okay, so arms are gonna start above your head once again. Single leg V up, so using one leg at a time. One leg comes up, both hands come up, try to touch your ankle and lower to the ground. So just a little, little bit of a better description of what's going on here. Um, as you lift your, try to lift your leg up so that your toes are pointed towards the ceiling. As you're lifting your leg up, you're going to curl your upper body up so your shoulders should come off the ground. Hands should go with it. Try to touch your ankle and then lower back down to the ground. If you can't touch your ankle, that's okay. Try to maybe touch your calf or your knee. Just try to get those shoulders up off of the ground and then lower. This exercise is pretty difficult to manage your breathing with as well. So just try to breathe in and breathe out. Or maybe you're timing your breathing so that you're breathing out when you crunch up and then breathe in when you go back down, whatever is comfortable for you. So that's our first exercise. Next, high boat, low boat. So this one's a little tricky. Uh, we're gonna start with the modified version first. So sit upright now. Sit upright now, not right now. <laughs> uh, 
Hands can be flat on the ground behind you. My fingers are pointing in the direction of my toes. Your knees are going to bend so that your feet are flat on the ground right now. So right now my feet, my bottom and my hands are where are touching the ground. Keep your shoulders nice and straight. Have a nice posture with this. Keeping your nose pointed towards the wall in front of you. You're going to lift your feet up off the ground, lower your back, and you can lower your legs if you'd like, or if you just like to keep your legs um, in a tabletop position, you're welcome to do that. And then push yourself back up. So there's a lot going on with that exercise. Again, I'll explain it. Feet flat on the ground, bottom on the ground, hands slightly behind you on the ground. You're going to lift your legs up so that your shins are parallel to the ceiling or kind of in that tabletop position again. You're going to lower yourself backwards. So maybe your forearms are now touching the ground and then sit back up. Lower and sit up. Okay. If you want to bump it up a little bit, take your hands off the ground. Hands can come parallel to the ceiling and maybe parallel, parallel to the ground as well. All right, so now just my feet and my bottom are on the ground. Lift your bottom off the ground so you're kind of balanced, or lift your feet, I'm sorry, lift your feet off the ground so that you're balancing on your bottom. Lower your back towards the ground and then come back up to a seated position. Your legs can also extend or straighten to go to low boat and then come back up to high boat with your arms and legs kind of parallel with each other to the ceiling, to the ground. And we'll just repeat through that exercise. That one's gonna be a little more intense, so make sure you're breathing, getting all the oxygen that you need. And then we're going to finish with a curl up. So our curl ups are going to be very similar to the butterfly sit up, except our legs are just gonna be straight out in front of us. If you can't keep your legs straight, that's okay. If you can have a little bit of a bend in your knees, that's totally fine. So this exercise, we're just gonna lay back down again. We do a lot of laying down here, but we don't do it for too long. So arms are above your head. Both arms are gonna come, come, oops, come up as you sit up. Try to touch your ankles. I know I'm not very flexible today, so uh, my hands are coming just at the bottom of my shins. And then arms are gonna come up above your head again lower back down to the ground. Sit up, arms above your head, arms come forward to touch your ankles, shins, maybe you can touch your toes, that's awesome. And then lower slowly back down to the ground. This exercise isn't about whether you can touch your toes or not, it's about really engaging your core muscles as you go up, lay down, go up and lay down. Again, you wanna make sure you're doing very controlled motions here, you don't want to Flap your, or, yeah, flop your back on the ground. You wanna make sure you're going down slowly or in a controlled way and then coming up in a controlled way. Again, as you go down and up, if you need to maybe um, move your legs a little, maybe bend your legs, that's okay too. All right, so we're gonna get started. We have, again, we have our single leg V up, high boat, low boat, and our curl up. Stella is up and excited about something. She sees the reflection of my watch on the wall, so she stands right behind me, right in the way of everything, but that's okay. Come on, Stella. Come on, Stella. Stella's about a 70 pound mix of a few breeds. We just found out what her breeds were the other day. Come on, Stella. Okay, all right. Go ahead and get ready for our single leg V-up. We are going to get started. I'm gonna press my start button. Oops, three, two, one. Exercise. All right, here we go. Laying down, arms above your head. Lift one leg up, touch your foot, and lower. Lift up, shoulders off the ground, and lower. Keep breathing here, three, Two, one, and take a break. Next is our high boat, low boat. All right, three, two, 
one. Exercise. All right, so get into that boat position, our high boat, low boat, extend your body or lay back and sit up. Extend your back and sit up. Or lay back and sit up. Five seconds here, keep it up. Two, one, whoo, yes. and rest. All right, go ahead and lay back down for our curl ups. Three, two, one, here we go. Exercise. Arms above your head, sit all the way up, bend forward, and then control, lay back down. Sit up, bend forward, and lay back down. Up, forward, lay back down. One, yes. all right, take a break. We're done for our third circuit. One more set of our exercises. All right, single leg V up, here we go. Arms above your head, lift one leg up, touch your ankle and lower. Lift up, touch your ankle and lower. Lift up, keep it up, two, one, and take a break. Next is our high boat, low boat, last time for this. Three, whoops, three, two, one, and here we go. Starting in high boat, lower your legs and your upper body to the ground and sit up. All right, keep it up everybody. Keep going, five seconds here. Three, two, one. All right, I think that's the toughest one of the circuit, so good job. We're gonna go into our curl ups next. Lay down flat on the ground. All right, here we go. Arms above your head, lift up, touch your ankles, and lower back down to the ground. Stella would like me to play with her frisbee, but unfortunately we are exercising right now. Keep it up, keep it up. Two, one. All right, take a break. Great work. That concludes our third circuit. We have three out of four circuits done, which means we have one more circuit to go. All right, go ahead and grab some water if you need. I know I need some, so I'm gonna take a quick drink of water and then I'll get into explaining our fourth set of exercises. All right, so we're gonna get right into our fourth circuit here. So first we are going to, I'm going to adjust my yoga mat that I'm on because we really only need, for the next three exercises, we just need to support our hands and our forearms. So I'm going to fold my yoga mat in half and then fold it in half again. Flop my yoga mat down here. All right. So our three exercises for today, I'm gonna to be a body saw, a wheelbarrow, and a hip dip. So if you, um, if you can, and you were able to check out the description of the exercises before you got started, go ahead and grab the towels that we said you would need. Um, if you just have one towel you wanna to use for this, that's okay. Um, I am using my slippers. I turned my slipper, my slippers are kind of soft on the top side, so I'm gonna flip my slippers over and put my feet um, on, my on the bottoms of my slippers to do the one exercise, the wheelbarrow exercise that we'll go into. But just a disclaimer, if you have that, you can use literally anything that's soft um, and do, a, do this on maybe a hardwood, not hardwood, but maybe not carpet, not carpeted area. Um, so maybe if there's an area in your bathroom that may have tile or something that's not gonna get you from, that's gonna be able to let you slide around on it, go ahead, get to that area now. Uh, but we'll only need that for our wheelbarrow exercise again. So first exercise I'll tell you about is our body saw. So with the body saw exercise, you're going to start in a forearm plank. So we're in our forearm plank here. Okay, and then we're going to rock forward, come to start. Rock forward, come to start. So when you start, 
your and your arms are forearms are on the ground you're going to start with your elbows directly underneath your shoulders when you rock forward you're just pushing your body forward and your shoulders go past your elbows and then you go back into that um, rock back into your starting position really tighten your core here and use your core for this exercise next is our wheelbarrow exercise so we are going to grab your towel you can use a towel maybe a sweatshirt again i'm using my slippers come on stop stop let go let go let go let go let go Now we're gonna get started with our wheelbarrow exercise. So with this exercise, go ahead again, grab those, what that slippery surface that you have, um, whether that's a towel, uh, maybe you have a sweatshirt that's dirty that you don't mind um, putting your feet on and sliding around on the floor, okay? So again, you're going to start in a high plank position. Um, you might be a little challenging to start in a forearm plank with this exercise, but uh, try to get into the high plank. So hands are flat on the ground, elbows or hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Go ahead and put your sliding object underneath your, the toes of your feet. Oops, mine are going rogue here and they're not listening to me. Okay, so again, hands flat on your mat, hands directly underneath your shoulders. Create a straight line from your shoulders to your heels here. You're going to bring your knees to your chest by squeezing your core and then take your legs back into high plank. So squeeze, 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 bringing your feet towards your hands, knees towards your chest, and then extend or straighten your legs. So if you've already done just one or two of those, you might think oh, this is a toughie, this is a really hard one. Go ahead and take breaks whenever you need. It's 20 seconds, so I'll give my best to, do my best to give you cues when we're halfway there and we're almost done. Uh, but that is our wheelbarrow exercise. With that exercise, you wanna make sure your, your back is going to arch a little bit when your feet come forward. But when you go into that high plank position, try to really extend your shoulders back or just keep a nice straight posture straight line with your body and then slide your feet forward and back. Last exercise that we'll do for this circuit is our hip dips. So with this exercise, again, back down into a forearm plank. So forearms are flat on the ground. Elbows are directly under your shoulders. Feet are out behind you. And then you're gonna rock from side to side. So left hip comes to the left side right hip goes to the right side. And we're just going to repeat that exercise, left and right, left and right. Now, if you need a little more stability or you feel a little off balance with that exercise, feel free to widen the distance between your feet. Um, if not, you can just keep your feet side by side with that exercise as well. Take breaks, breathe through that exercise. It can be really easy to think, okay, I'll do three and then breathe, three and breathe. Try to breathe throughout doing the exercise. It's gonna be really helpful. I'm gonna grab some water again, and then we will get started. All right, this is our fourth circuit. After this, we are done, and we can go right into our cool down. I'm gonna get my, um, my timer ready. All right, body saw is first. Three, two, one, here we go. So we're in that high or forearm plank, lean forward and rock back, rock forward and rock back. Again, don't stick your bottom in the air. Just try to keep it, keep your pelvis tucked. Three, two, one, take a break. Lower down if you need to, but we're gonna go right into the wheelbarrows. Get your feet ready. Three, two, one, 
Here we go, in that high plank. Ah. High plank position, scrunch your feet towards your hands and go back down to the ground. Feet towards your hands and extend, not back towards the ground, extend. Two, one, and take a break. I'm gonna do this on some sweatpants. All right, hip dips are next. All right, back to that forearm plank. We're on our forearms. Lean to the left and to the right. If your hips don't touch the ground, that's okay. That's really just about tightening your core and moving left and right. Three, two, one. Whew. Get some air. That's our first set down. Great job, everybody. You're doing awesome. Three, two, one. Here we go into that body saw. Onto your forearms. Rock forward and back. Rock forward and back. Breathe here. Five seconds to go. Keep it up. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, awesome work. Wheelbarrows are next. Get your breath while you can. Three, two, one, and here we go. We're in that high plank position. Knees come forward, push your feet back. Knees forward, push your feet back. Halfway there, keep it up. Breathing in and out. Three, two, and one. Woo, take a break. All right, hip dips are next. Whew. Three, two, one. Starting in our forearm plank, dip right and left, right and left. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Halfway there, keep it up. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo. Sit up and shake out your arms if you need. We're gonna go into our body saw, last body saw. Two, one. All right, here we go. Forearm plank. This is the last set, so let's get at it. Rocking forward and back. Tightening your core. Three, three, two, one, and rest. All right, last set of wheelbarrows are on deck. Up next. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. High plank, knees to chest. Extend your legs, knees to chest. Nice and controlled here, halfway there. Keep going. You got this, almost done. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, hip dips are our final exercise in our circuit today. You got this, get into it. High or forearm plank. And here we go, dip to the left and right. Again, widen your feet if you need. Keep breathing. Halfway there, almost done. Keep it up, keep it up. Three, two, and one. Woo, all right. Great work, everybody. If you need to lay on the ground for a couple seconds, that's okay. Just make sure you're taking some nice deep breaths in and out. In and out. Great work, okay. I'm just catching my breath here too, but whenever you're ready, go ahead, grab some water. Keep breathing, definitely. All right, if you need more water, definitely feel free to grab it. I'm going to re-roll out my yoga mat now. So I'm gonna use the length of my mat. Oh gosh, all right. Okay, I have my area situated now. 
So whenever you're ready, go ahead and join me on the ground. We're gonna start in a, we're gonna do a sitting twist first. So sit on your bottom, okay? Legs are straight out in front of you. You are going to take one leg. So I'm just gonna start with my right leg. There's a lot going on here. Take your right leg, lift it up, cross. So my right foot is to the left of my left leg, okay? You're going to look or point your nose to the right. And then whenever you get into that stretch, bring your left elbow to your right knee to help facilitate that movement. Holding here. And then go ahead and in a controlled way, release. Uncross your leg, uncross your arm and then switch. So left leg goes over, right leg, right arm on left knee. Point your nose to the left and twist to a spot that feels good for you. Okay. All right. Next exercise we're going to do is Cobra. So go ahead and flip over. So you're gonna lay on your stomach here. So again, just like in our warm up, hands laying on your stomach, hands are on, flat on the ground at about chest level. Okay, from here, you're going to just push your chest up off of the ground. Arms don't have to be straight. They can have a slight bend in them. Take a nice deep breath in and out. And then if you want, you can point your nose, look over your right shoulder and point your nose to your right heel. And then go back to your center position. If this feels a little challenging on your wrists, you can go ahead and lower down, shake out your wrists a little bit, and then go back up into your cobra, and then repeat on the left side. Bring your nose across your left shoulder so that your nose is pointing towards your left heel. It's also known as the paranoid cobra. Okay, and then lower back down to the ground a nice stretch you can get there okay final exercise or cool down stretch we're going to do is one of my favorites is a corpse corpse pose stretch so go ahead and lay down flat so your arms can be at your sides palms can face down then just take a few minutes to take some deep breaths in and out. If you have any other stretches that you want to do for your core, you are more than welcome to do those. Again, just taking some deep breaths in and out. You might be wondering, well, this isn't really stretching anything. I just want to take a nap. I feel the same way. But it is always good to just take some time to slow down, take a deep breath in and out. And if you want to, just be thankful and give some gratitude towards your body because our bodies are awesome. Everybody's body is awesome. And we just want to be thankful that we can move our bodies in the ways that we can and we can exercise to not only improve our, maybe our physical shape or just our how in shape we are, whether we want to improve our strength or maybe you want to be able to run a little more. Just giving thanks that our body can do these things and being grateful that we can be so active and lead some healthy lifestyles. All right. Whenever you are ready, go ahead and sit up. Again, if you'd like to do a few more exercises, you're welcome to do that. 
But thank you so much for spending your time with me doing some core exercises. We hope to see you with some more exercises soon.